hello everyone in today's video i'm going to be talking on how youtube has really changed my life with just 1k subscribers even though i've not been making good money unlike those bigger youtubers but the journey has really been good and i'm going to give you a full details of how my youtube journey has been so without further ado let's dive into today's video this is james from jtg unbox therapy this is actually not my first channel but this is my second channel the first channel I created was two years ago. I started this channel, that's J Tech Gadgets, which is my first channel which I started on, where I was creating phone repairs, content, and a whole lot. I got that channel monetized and was making some little, little money, which I'm going to be showing you. But this particular channel, which is where I really want to talk on how my YouTube journey has been, is that this channel was created last year and luckily this channel got monetized last year which wasn't like the first channel the first channel took one year before it was able to get monetized but this particular one got monetized very early compared to the the other channel because i was able to impute my experience in which i got from the first channel but one thing you need to know about my youtube journey is that these two channels which i'm talking of is actually not the first channel in which i started i actually created like three channels but they all got deleted because of copyright strikes and these are some of the things new content creators need to be aware when you are coming to youtube content creation you need to try to be able to create original content for your videos because if not you're going to they are going to delete your accounts and a whole lot. I created first channel due to copyright because I wasn't informed. Nobody really taught me. I'm a self-taught person because I came into YouTube not knowing anything, not knowing anyone. These channels got deleted by YouTube due to copyright strike. The first one, the second one, and the third one. After losing the third channel, that was when I really came to understanding the how the YouTube work, which is you have to be able to create original content for your videos if not you have a whole lot of issues with copyright strikes and other things now what brought me into content creation i'm not a content creation person i'm not perfect i'm not one of the best anybody you can any, anything you can call one of the best person one of the best editors or the happiest person on earth or whatever i'm not i find youtube to be a place whereby I can express myself, express my inner creativity. I came across one video which was talking about being able to be a content creator and how content creation can change your life and what are some of the and the benefits being a content creator, which is the monetary aspect, which I won't like the money was also part of it because i needed a whole lot and there was a whole lot going on in my life then so due to loneliness and some other since I was passing through that time, I needed to get myself busy, not just with work, but when I get home, I need to keep myself occupied doing something. So this is part of the reason. So I was just doing it like a phone. I listened, watched that video, which was talking of, of the benefit of being a content creator and a whole lot of country in which I am. I'm seeing a whole lot of people that are really making money, removing themselves from poverty and a whole lot, which I was looking at. But that was when I got into YouTube content creation. I started creating content the beginning wasn't e that easy because i had no knowledge on how you can create content editing and scripting and a whole lot i wasn't doing all that all i just do is that i just come online say whatever i want to say god then post it at first i was ashamed of posting it. i was so scared of thinking of what will people say those that know me maybe when they see it they'll say look at you you are making a fool of yourself going on youtube posting your video and letting the whole world see you but i actually discovered that after posting my first video posting my second one i discovered that nobody really care about what you do is your life nobody really care if you post a video but the only time people are going to care about what you do is when you start making it when you start succeeding creating content when they start seeing the kind of traction in which you are getting that's when people are going to start getting to notice you and 
start getting interested in whatsoever you do. So these are some of the things in which I experienced. So this is part, some of the reason why I came into YouTube and it has really helped me a lot because it has connected me to certain people. I've gone for some trainings. I've met even people that I've never dreamed of meeting. I've made new friends doing this YouTube. I've met people in different countries, being able to chat with them and share their experience with me and i've also been able to share my own experience with them so with this youtube content creation you get to meet people you get to make new friends and it has really helped me a whole lot whereby i don't feel being alone anymore so this is actually how what brought me into content creation while creating content on this channel it wasn't that difficult for me because i've done youtube i've been able to create a channel that got monetized within one year so for this particular one i already had the experience on what it takes to be on youtube but i would say for new new creators some of the problem they will pass through is you need to know something that when you're creating your first video second video third video believe you me you will not get you you not get views you will not get views if you are thinking maybe maybe you just started youtube and you uploaded your first video your second video you just don't need you don't need to be discouraged that's how the algorithm work because for this channel what happened was that when i uploaded my first video it was like nothing was going on but i already knew how the whole system was so i uploaded the second one i just kept on uploading weekly while uploading weekly as time goes on, what happens is that once you upload a video, it's like it takes time for the algorithm to start picking the video and recommending it to other people because the algorithm will, will recognize that you are a new creator. That means you don't have trust yet from people. So they don't start pushing new content from new YouTubers just like that. They recommend it to people nearby before pushing it outside there. So that's how the algorithm works. So the first time I started this channel, because I already had the experience, it wasn't that difficult for me because I already knew how the whole thing was and I already prepared my mind on how this whole thing is going to go. I told myself that even if it takes one year or two years for this other system to, for this other channel to grow, I don't mind since I already have one channel that is actually working, but do not making good money. But I told myself that no problem i'm going to but to my greatest surprise this channel grew faster than the first one within a short time i was able to hit 1k subscribers i was also able to hit the 4k watch hours and it wasn't just done that way i also talked to my friends to ask asking them to help watch my videos and he will also some of them were able to help me to watch the videos which actually helped me to be able to get my 4k watch hours so that's how i got monetized and since i got monetized this channel has been making some money but so i won't lie to you if you get monetized you don't let your hopes to be high because when you get monetized you may be thinking maybe that's when the money will start coming don't ever put your hope high when once you get monetized thinking that because that's why i observed something i observe that a whole lot of people that get monetized or i've seen people buying monetized channel once they start posting video the first time the second time and let's say after two weeks one month two months they are not seeing money from everything which they've been hearing they've been watching online. a lot of them just decide to stop it stop doing youtube youtube is not something you just wake up and say that I'm going to do it if it's fetching money. Fine. If it's not fetching money, you have to. You are going to stop. You need to be able to have passion for doing YouTube. So this is actually one thing that will really advise a whole lot of YouTubers. A whole lot of people are saying they want to hit the one K subscriber stuff, but hitting the one K is not the end because once you hit the one K, you need to do what keep creating content. And maybe maybe lucky the video in which you make might go viral. But if there's no viral, because out of the whole people that goes viral, it may be like hundred over one. One person might go viral compared to all the people that has been making videos. So the whole thing I don't think is 
and there's anything special which you have to do i've been seeing a whole lot of video telling people that you have to do this to go viral a whole lot of videos in which i've seen people going viral is not actually like there's any special thing in which they do i've seen one video which was talking about creating fake realistic youtube videos i heard what the lady said she said that it's not like she's the first person that did the video she's actually not the first person that did the video that a whole lot of people have been doing the same video but what happened to her own video that picked up and that video really changed her life from 500 subscribers or what was she said she was saying like she had like 300 or 500 subscribers and all of a sudden she's now at 29k subscribers this is the benefit of going viral but going viral is not something you should expect because it is rare to actually get but you just have to do what take things step by step don't rush things so while you are planning to hit the 1k subscribers don't put your whole pie that um you're going to once you hit the 1k subscribers you start making the money it doesn't work that way so <laughs> you just have to do what you just once you hit the 1k subscribers and the 4k watch hour you just need to do what keep doing the same thing which you were doing at first on my two channel on the first one and the second one the first one which i started with is having 1.3k subscribers why this particular one is having 1.1k subscribers so you can see the difference in both channels this second one grew very fast comparing it to the first one because i already learned everything that is needed for you to be able to create a youtube channel be able to create a videos and being able to being able to upload and write your description and the whole lot all these things wasn't learned in one day it took time it took mistakes it took a whole lot of sleepless nights and other things to be able to achieve this success and getting to 1k some people might, might think is the end but it's just the beginning one of the positive things in which you will experience once you clock 1k subscriber is that your videos will start picking up you get it it will start getting more rich because you've been able to create an audience there's people that have been able to see your content love what you do and all that but one thing you need to know is that getting to 1k it will demand a whole lot from me because what you were doing you have to do what double whatsoever you were you doing if you really want to go and youtube is not something you start today and tomorrow it finishes at times some of the questions i used to ask myself is that is this what i want to do forever how long do i want to do creating content and doing all that waking up every morning writing scripts um setting my camera doing the then after shooting then doing the editing and before uploading then at times you upload you get like 100 views 30 views and all that i used to ask myself how long do i want to do this youtube thing but i came to the conclusion is that i'll just keep doing it as long as it takes until i get there that i'm no longer doing then i i can say that i'm no more doing so one thing you need to do is that once you hit the 1k subscriber you just need to don't get discouraged once you kind once once you see the kind of money that is coming out because believe you me the money the first week of getting monetized the money will look like it actually makes sense but the second week to the third week you will discover that you start making cents not dollars on a video you don't make that that big money as people used to say it once you are a new youtuber so you don't just need to you don't need to get discouraged at the kind of money in which you'll be seen <laughs> once you you've been able to get monetized because a whole lot of people get get discouraged once they start seeing the kind of money they will say ah i thought i was going to be making millions once i get monetized hit the 4k watch hour and the 1000 subscribers they will start getting discouraged so you don't need to get discouraged just keep doing what you're doing because this is something that happened to me because i when i hit the 1k subscribers and the watch hour i was i was very happy thinking that i'll start making big money that this money is going to change my life but <laughs> unfortunately it was it wasn't what i expected but i picked up courage and continued going and the more i'm doing it the more my video is getting traction the more the money is coming up little by little and it all depends on the kind of videos in which you make and those people if you observe those people that are in 
making money in each day pay them more compared to those that are on onto vlog those that are doing vlog and tech creators tech creators also make money but it can compare to those that do videos on making money online these people that's talking about finance finance videos these videos make more money because advertisers are willing to put money on those kind of videos because it's a business it's something that is going to generate more money so these are some of the things in which you need to know so you don't need to get discouraged on hitting the 1k subscribers and the 4k watch hours so you just need to do what keep doing whatever you're doing and don't get discouraged now my experience since i've been doing youtube is that the attention i was thinking nobody cares and no one really care about what whatsoever i do on youtube people are getting to see my videos and some friends people i have i've i've, I've seen for a long time some of them are begin, beginning to call me and the benefit is that i've been able to make some new friends added to my old friends so this is some of the things in which you experience once you start doing well on youtube you start getting to know people making new friends and people get to call you you get some sponsorship deals and all that thing so these are some of the things in which you're going to enjoy once you start doing well on youtube so it's going to open doors of unlimited opportunities for you as i am now i have my daily job in which i used to do so for youtube i don't do it on full time basis i do it on part time whenever i have an idea i just script it down write it down then once i'm once i close from work or early in the morning i just set my camera and everything then i do my recording that's all i do i don't i don't do youtube on full time basis so our advice to whoever that is starting youtube don't put all your focus on it once you are able to hit like 50k 100k followers and above then you can decide that you want to do youtube on full time basis but well, apart from that i want to advise anybody to go full time on youtube do it the little way you can and the more you do it the more you gain experience the more you become better in whatsoever you're doing either on the scripting or getting storytelling or video editing and a whole lot it's going to make you to be better in all those things and mind you when before i joined youtube i wasn't that good on editing but as time goes on the more i keep doing these things i discover that my editing skills keep getting better it's just like when you're going to school what you learned in class one class two class three the more you are you are you are being promoted the more you are getting better the knowledge in which you are acquiring you keep acquiring more knowledge so that's how youtube is the more you are doing it the more you are learning more the more you are getting to know more about whatsoever you are doing so you just need to keep doing it you don't have a choice or do you okay you have a choice so you just need to keep doing it that's just it you need to master certain things on content creation which will help you to grow on youtube first you need to master how to write a description while uploading your video master how to write description because description is what pushes the algorithm to know what your video is all about and be able to push it to the right audience that need those kind of videos so you need to be able to understand how to write your description and another thing is that you need to learn how to write catchy titles titles that will be able to attract people once your videos are being recommended title that will be able to make people to want to know what is this video all about so apart from that another thing in which you need to learn is how to create tags tags are some of the things the keywords for your videos which will also help to push your videos another thing in which i will say you need to learn is being able to create a catchy intro so you need to be able to get a catchy intro and the intro doesn't need to be a clickbait something but you need to be able to it has to be able to talk on some of the best things which the video which you're making is all about so this intro is what is going to determine if the person coming across your video is going to decide to watch it or not so your intro needs to be very catchy the intro is 30 seconds so you have to make those 30 seconds count while doing your intro so make sure you get the best intro that is going to make people to want to watch your video and another most important thing for your video is the thumbnail the thumbnail is number one i should have said it number one but i intentionally put it as the last 
The thumbnail is very important. It's important than any other thing in which I've said. Because the thumbnail is what people see first. Before reading your titles, then going through your intro, then and other things which is on your video. So you need to make sure that your thumbnail is attractive and it is also catchy. That whereby people can be able to come across your thumbnail or and be able to click the video. So these are some of the things in which you need to be able to do. So these are little little things that will help your channel go help your video to do well while coming up as a new creator on YouTube. So all these are all these things are some of the things that will help you to grow on YouTube. Now as a YouTuber or as you are about to hit your 1k subscribers and 4k watch hour what i will tell you is that don't give up that's the only thing i'll tell you because in my place they used to say the one that has mind that's one that has mind will be the one that will last longer so you need to just do what you need to keep encouraging yourself at times you might not have someone to encourage you you might not have someone to tell you keep doing what you're doing at times it could be discouraging doing youtube because you are putting, putting on a whole lot of effort to create videos create thumbnail and do a whole lot but at the end of the day you don't get the kind of results in which you want to get so at times it could be discouraging but you just need to do what encourage yourself because nobody will encourage you if you know the reason why you came on youtube if your mind is solely on the money you have to take that out first as a new youtuber and focus on creating content and getting followers and at times some followers some subscribers are some people that watch your video some of them might come with some bad words to discourage you saying that your audio is not good your video your video is not good but are you not wondering why are they not also creating content why are they not also doing it? because they can't do it the more you keep doing it the more you keep getting better and your best is yet to come so you don't need to get discouraged when people type negative comments on your videos and all that those are some of the things at times people type negative comments saying one thing or the other what i do is that at times at times i'm very harsh <laughs> at times i'll just i don't even bother replying them i'll just delete the comments leave the video but i know of someone that people made negative comments on his video what he did was that he removed the video which is not right you don't allow people's perception on you to determine who you will be or whatever in which you want to become you just need to do what do what you love do what you like so if you find this video interesting and you really like everything i've said i'm into tech content but i just feel like doing this video letting people that are heading to 1k subscribers or getting monetized to know how is going to be like once you get monetized on youtube and some people to some people it gets better things move faster once they hit 1k subscribers and get monetized but for some people things become slow it doesn't go very fast so we are all different in different ways so it all depends on how the system pick your content and i actually can't tell how the algorithm of youtube work but either ways you just need to do what keep encouraging yourself and keep doing whatsoever you are doing and your best is yet to come so if you find this video interesting make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel because I also want to go like every other big YouTuber. So thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.